Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you tonight pretty late for a review. I don't know when this review is going to come out, but it's going to be sometime in the morning or like middle of the night morning kind of stuff. So this is for the Exorcist Believer movie review for the 2023 film. I got a chance to watch for this hour and 51 minute movie. Movie. Excuse my yawning. I'm going to be going to bed pretty soon because yeah, it felt like almost a two hour movie. And it was almost a two hour movie. But pretty much I'm going to discuss what I uh, watched for this uh, hour and 51 minute movie for The Exorcist Believer and let you know my thoughts on this film overall. So let's dive into this movie review. Now basically the premise is where these two girls, Catherine and Angela, are best friends and all that. And then they one day they go into the woods and Angela... The story before getting into that 13 years later thing, uh, 13 years later thing, the mother of Angela uh, passed away, and uh, the father, Victor or whatever, has to make a choice and either save the wife or save the baby at the time, and then he chooses the baby. Uh, he chose the wife, but it just... He eventually chose the baby, but was left with a choice, but that choice was mainly for him to save the child. He didn't want that, and then God chose for him. But pretty much, uh, I think this film was not very good, um, and I will tell you why, because basically, I can respect that there are some, excuse me, Oni, some moments in this movie that felt interesting, but it's just how it was set up and how it turned out, this film, it was a flop, um, because basically the two girls get possessed by evil, uh, demons or whatever, demonic presence. It was a demonic possession, and they were missing for three days, so they made it seem like something out of the Bible, a biblical thing. Like, they go missing for three days, and then reappear, but they're not the same thing. They brought back something, and Catherine and Angela are pretty much possessed by an evil spirit and evil entity, and basically... They have to do an exorcism, mostly towards the end of the film. Unfortunately, I don't want to spoil what happens at the end of the film, but there is a casualty at the end of the film. Like, somebody dies. Well, basically. It's sad, but at, in all retrospect, I think the concept behind this movie didn't work. I was very let down by this movie, big time, um, and there were some moments where the jump scares were okay, but majority of the time the jump scares didn't really frighten me that much and didn't make me jump. It was very predictable, like you could see it coming a mile away. I mean, some of the evil entities and spirits that possess Angela and Catherine in this film, uh, their characters, and... Keep in mind, their performances were great. Leslie Odom uh, Jr., I think his name is. Um, I think his performance as the dad, Victor, was outstanding. I really liked his performance, but overall, the performance of the movie was a flop. It didn't work. I think they had an idea, and it didn't execute too well. I mean, they brought back uh, a character from two characters from the original Exorcist film. Exorcist film, excuse my yawning. Um, but this was like a sequel to that movie that came out in 1976 or something like that. I can't remember, but basically overall, 
I think this movie was a letdown, and I don't see myself coming back to this movie, uh, ever, personally, because I was, majority of the movie, I was very bored with the film, and the pacing was really slow, getting to the point of the exorcism. It had the interesting concept, but it failed to execute flawlessly, so, for a score for me, I'm gonna give, uh, the Exorcist Believer, a 5 out of 10. It was not very good. I was really let down by this film. I, it's not that I hated it all that much. It wasn't the worst film of the year, but it was a bad film. So, basically, I think they had an idea, but the jump scares didn't work. The storyline was very slow for the pacing, and took a bit of time to get to that certain point where the exorcism goes down at the end of the film. But overall, the decision making in this film for the characters were not very good either. Uh, certain scripts for the movie uh, with their certain characters and actors and actresses. I don't know, this movie didn't do it for me. So, 5 out of 10 for... Uh, the Exorcist Believer. I was very disappointed with this film. Thank you for watching this movie review tonight.